RockShox have made a fantastic damper, really light uh, for their SID fork. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, it has an issue with the fading uh, lockout, which we're going to talk today about and how to resolve it. Just a footnote, if you are in your warranty period, RockSox will replace this race day damper if you experience this problem. If you are the second owner of the fork or if you're out of your warranty period, this is a solution for you. So what I've generally found um, and why we're looking at a solution for this is um, on long uh, stage races or just in training or even on a XCO, if you ride in the lockout and you forget to undo it, uh, and you have a big hit, uh, what happens is that the molded O-ring in the lockout cup can actually split. And if you have a close look at this one, you'll see how this is split. And once that's split, um, what happens then is obviously the oil is not uh, held into in, the, in its place, and um, the oil bypasses the shim stack, which obviously then uh, nullifies the lockout. So in order to change that, we actually go, I'm going to show you how we at at RBC um, solve this problem um, and the replacement that we do. Um, this is not something that you can do at home. Uh, some special tools are needed. And also this uh, race day uh, damper is a very delicate uh, damper. So um, we need some special uh, soft jaws uh, to open it. So what I've done in preparation for the video is I've actually prepped the, this uh, damper and uh, just so that you can see how the whole process is done. So to get to the shim stack and the lockout interface on this, on this uh, race day damper, I'm first going to take my C-clip um, tool and take off the C-clip there that's on there, the little ring clip, and the damp, and now I can access the bladder. Um, as I said, I've already prepped this, so this is loose. I'm going to open uh, the top. Take this out. Slide the bladder down. Then I'm going to open uh, the interface here. And this will reveal our piston setup. Take it out here. So here have you got your, your race day uh, piston. Really, really high end setup here. I love this. As I said, I love this system. So you've got your check valve here, which controls the oil flow coming back out of the bladder. Um, there's your shim stack over here, and here's your, your lockout interface. So basically how, what happens now with this, just take the spring off here. Um, so this is a brand new one uh, that I'm working on now. Um, so all, all good on this side. So the, the two fit together like this. As I activate the lockout, as you can see, it actually moves this top hat over the um, ports, these ports here, which essentially control how the liquid flows. Um, and as you can see, once this O-ring, which is molded into this top cap, once, it, uh, once that O-ring breaks, um, the oil is then going to go through those ports rather than go through the shim stack, which is what gives you your locker. So we need to replace this unit over here um, with a new one. And from that, we have a nice uh, CNC machined uh, stainless steel piece with a, a solid O-ring in the bottom that is replaceable. Um, but the way this is set up, uh, this is not going to break. All right, so how do we do that? Um, I'm going to put it into our little tool here. What we're going to do now is actually, I've taken the interface out uh, with the cap on it, um, on the new raised day damper that I've got here. And I'm actually going to remove this little brass pin. Uh, this is a specific tool designed for the job from Andriani. And I'm going to now just quickly remove that brass pin. So I've knocked the pin out, and now I'm going to swap over to um, the new lockout interface. 
and we're going to refit the the, the 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 lockout mechanism. It'll go back in quite smoothly. Check the actuation perfectly actuating. Um, uh, once I've assembled this, um, put it on, I'm going to check that it's working perfectly. As you can see, the interface is 100%. And I'm going to reassemble this and I'll bleed it like standard. Um, and then we'll check the lockout again on that. So after fitting it, um, the, the new piece, doing the final assembly, tensioning the spring, and doing the uh, bleed, we're now ready to test the lockout. Put our top cap on here. This is a remote one. Tighten it up. And we'll cycle the damper. Okay, it feels good. And let's try the lockout. Put that in there. Tension the lockout. And, and it's a nice deadlock. Very tight deadlock. So the, the part fits really well works really well and solves the problem of the blowed out um, molded o-ring and also returns your damper to uh, as it should be thanks for watching if you liked what you've seen click the like button subscribe and, and hit the bell thank you very much <laughs>